Joanna Dye has had a successful career in business, but she had a problem. She could never find stylish clothing that gave her the comfort and flexibility that she really needed. Joanna took a leap of faith and left her life on Wall Street behind to start the Dye clothing brand in London. We're focusing on her as part of our small business spotlight. My name is Joanna Dye. I am the founder and CEO of innovative workwear brand Dye. I had spent eight years in investment banking at one of the largest firms in New York and London. I felt I had a great career and I wanted to do more and make more of an impact. At the same time, I loved fashion and I always found work clothes to be extremely uncomfortable. It hit me one day, I had a day of meetings, flew out in Stockholm, and on the way back on the last flight, I was sitting in my seat, waistband was digging in, and I just felt incredibly uncomfortable. And I wished I were in my yoga clothes, and I asked myself, could work wear, feel like yoga, and look like a power suit? I did take a leap of faith because I believed in the concept and the vision so much that I went to London College of Fashion, took design and pattern cutting classes, did an unpaid fashion internship as a 30-year-old. The transition from banking to being an entrepreneur with nothing but a vision, not even a product or a website or a business card, is really daunting. Um, it's a complete lifestyle change from having a pretty comfortable income to having no income at all. I was the IT person debugging the printer when it wasn't working. There was no heating. The first studio that I had was a shared space where we still had to bring our own toilet paper. In the first 18 months, it felt like I was an intern. The clothing I brought with us today um, represents a capsule collection and uh, the woman's wardrobe. There's just a lot of really versatile tops to layer with everything, including our newest developments on circular economy and sustainability. Fashion being one of the biggest polluters on the planet as an industry, I wanted to make sure I did everything we could to set up the platform in a way that was making the best decisions for our planet as well as our people. We've had several new innovations since we've launched. So we've had one fabric that's made from ocean waste, discarded fishing nets that is regenerated into new fabrics. We have one product that is taking beechwood trees from Austria um, and produced in Italy in a closed loop carbon neutral process and at the end of the life cycle of the garment, it is certified biodegradable. Passion is by far the most important thing to have because it's a roller coaster. There will be ups and downs and in the downs you feel like this is not gonna work and this is the day where it's I'm gonna fail. And I think no one else in the world is gonna have that vision and have that passion that you do, that I do to really push this forward. And so in the darkest moments when you think, I can't do this for another day or it's not gonna work, um, it's that passion that really pushes you through. We, as women, want to reach the top. We wanna to break the glass ceiling. And I wanna build a brand in a world where clothes don't restrict us, but rather empower us. Um, and for me, this brand is, as it grows, this brand is a platform to empower women through comfort through performance and our ultimate why my ultimate vision is because the world is better when women succeed